Hey everybody, welcome back to another Krita tutorial. Today we're going to go over some grouping options in Krita 5 that are new and how you can use them. So first, I'm going to click on the group I have here. I'm going to right click and I can go down to group. And you have th uh, some options now. You have quick group and quick ungroup. So let's say, for whatever reason, everything in this group I no longer want to be in a group. So I can go ahead and click quick ungroup and it takes everything out of it immediately. And the group itself is, is gone. Maybe I am just isolating a part of my image that I no longer need to be isolated. You know, there are some reasons to do that. And if I select a bunch of layers and I want to group them, like maybe it's getting too much for um, my sanity and I just need to group these things or I need to use alpha inheritance and having them separate isn't working, I can go ahead and group and do quick group. And it's all in a group for me. And because I left, it left the alpha inheritance and everything, I don't have to worry about um, that being reset or anything like that, it's automatically stuck with that layer and it makes life a little easier. Another feature in Krita 5 is the quick clipping group. I want to make sure I said that right, sorry. Quick clipping group. So I'm going to take these feathers and I'm going to say, you know what, I want to change the color or I want to make it a little darker. I just want to make some adjustments to these three layers and I want to make that, you know, easier on myself. So instead of making grouping these like myself and changing the um, layer types and all this other stuff, I can just go ahead and go right click on all three layers and go to quick clipping group. So over here, I'm going to actually pull this out so you can see. Alright, I pulled this out so you can see it a little better. So these are my three layers for the feathers and this is a new layer that I created for the clipping group called mask layer. Automatically it has the alpha inheritance on which means it's only going to affect these three layers in this group. So all that was set up for me automatically. I didn't have to go in and add the layer itself to do alpha inheritance. So anything done to this layer is going to affect these three below. So let's go ahead and test it out. So I'm going to just keep the red on, I'm going to leave the layers as is, I'm going to scribble over it. So as you can see, everything is turning like this pinkish red, but it's only affecting the layers underneath. But it's not, you know, destructing, or it's not destroying the actual layers themselves. So if I want to take this a step further, I can go to, let's see, go to multiply, and this, that gives a nice dark reddish shade over these feathers. I can also go to overlay and see how that looks. It makes a little bit more of a strange muddy green. If I do a lighter color here, I can say, oh, I like how this has a nice hazy look to it now. So I'm able to do some non-destructive editing and use the layer modes and anything else I need to affect all three layers and go about my day. And all that's done basically with the click of a button. So you don't have to waste time grouping them, moving them around with the up and down arrows, adding in a blank uh, layer with the alpha inheritance. And if I want, I can go ahead and lock the transparency or lock the layer. I can turn that off if I want. I'm still able to do everything I want. It's just set up in a manner that makes it easier to make your own clipping mask or group. Another thing we do with this mask layer is we can convert it to a filter mask. So that way, it's another good option for the clipping group. You don't have to worry about um, doing all this from scratch. I mean, if you want to duplicate the layer, obviously you can do that. But if I want to increase the exposure to um, these feathers here, maybe I want to let it sit for a second. Maybe I want to make it darker. Um, maybe I want to do a little bit of a blur. You can just hit OK. Let that process. So as you can see, I've already got my filter mask going. It's blurred the feathers only. It hasn't affected anything else in the artwork. Um, if I go ahead and un turn that layer off, you can see it's perfectly fine. The, the original layers are still good. Nothing's been damaged. And turn that back on, I've added my blur. And I think that's pretty cool. Another thing you can do with the clipping group option. Hopefully you can use this in your own artwork and get used to these features. If you have any questions, as always, leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them as quickly and efficiently as possible. 
if you have any suggestions of what else you would like me to talk about within Krita, let me know. I'll try that as well. Put it on my list of videos to make. And I hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.